You want to hear something funny? So today is Monday, July the 19th, and I was supposed to be finishing a book uh, last Friday. I was supposed to have finished a book last Friday. Um, that is hilarious because <laughs> I, I've barely begun a book, <laughs> let alone haven't finished one, but we are getting ready to dive right into it. Um, I did not get, I was gone, you know, for like a week and I did not really get much writing done. Um, if I can find, like I had recorded like a tiny bit of footage and if I can find that footage, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put that in right here. So I don't know how well you guys can hear me. I'm trying to be quiet because my room is right on the other side of the stairway, and I don't want to wake anybody up, but I'm outside. I'll give you guys more information about this later, but this is my setup. I'm out here on this little balcony with a little view of the pool. I'm going to watch the sun come up over there and right. See? Right over there. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so I still don't know how well I'm able to be heard without, you know, without waking up the family but um been out here for about an hour got just under 900 words and so um i'm feeling good about that and i think i am done for now um we gotta go get ready for breakfast we gotta go get ready for breakfast um the place that we want to go to yesterday they were crazy crowded and we couldn't even find a place to park so we did not end up being there. <laughs> so I think we're gonna try again today, maybe. This is actually um, our last full day here and it rained, uh, it, it, we, we drove up in stormy weather and then um, it rained quite a bit yesterday, which kind of put a bit of a damper, but um, it's coastal. So I guess that's kind of to be expected. Um, but today is supposed to be sunny and nice. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny and nice, but we check out tomorrow to move on to the next area. So, yeah, we, we got, we're supposed to have sun all day today and a good amount of sun tomorrow. So, hopefully. It's nice out here right now though. Okay, so I did not get a lot of writing done while we were on the trip, but I did get quite a bit of brainstorming done. I have learned a lot about my characters. My hero is still a bit elusive for me, um, which is not uncommon. Um, I, I feel like my heroines are, t are just typically more well-rounded than the heroes. Like for most of my books, it's really kind of the heroine story and the hero is more icing. But for whatever reason, that's bothering me here because I feel like I feel like Ellis has something to give and I'm just not picking it up. So I'm going to be trying to keep my mind open for that. Yeah, so what I am about to do now is I am about to... I'm about to reread everything that I have so far. Like I'm about to reread everything that I have so far and see if there are any places where things that I know now that I did not know when I first started writing this book, see if there's any places where I can, where I can elaborate, see if there's any places where I can, you know, put in certain details that contribute to what I know now about the story that I did not know when I first started writing it. Um, and I'm just, you know, that'll be a few words. Like that's not going to be anything much, anything major. It, it, it never is just little, you know, like weaving in little things. So I'm going to do 
that and then once I'm done with that I am going to um I'm going to figure out what is wrong with my um my app that I use to do my sprints because since I got my new phone like I never have been able to get that app to work like I want it to work and if I can't get that one to work like I want it to work I'm gonna get a different one um but I need a Pomodoro app I need to be able to you know dial in and get some sprints done um because I have some other things that I need to do today that aren't just writing um I actually wrote out my uh I did my top three. <laughs> I did my top three for today. I have them down in my top three planner. And I am also going to, uh, I got this, uh, which is it's like a glass uh, little board for my desk. And I'm going to write down my top three things on there so that I can, so that they're in my face. Um, I typically kind of put away my planner and stuff just so that my desk is clear. Um, I may or may not do that. I may, I may leave it out because I don't feel like writing it on the board. Um, so I may just leave the paper planner out um, and then just go from there. Uh, I am going back into using my planner. Um I have a tendency to over plan myself and I think that's part of why I end up dropping it, why I can't seem to kind of stay engaged with it. So I'm going to try not to do that and I'm going to like find some water or something because I'm, I'm crazy raspy this morning. Um, I know you guys can probably hear it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to get those things done and then I'll be back. I did finish reading what I have so far. I, I did not end up adding very much to it at all. Like maybe a word or two here or there. A um, little bit of light editing and some corrections. That was mostly it. But um, now I'm getting ready to write new material. So I'm a little excited. We're going to see how it goes though. 25 minutes, blah, 25 minutes each with a five minute break in between. Um, I got to do three of those. And then once I'm done with those three, I'm going to evaluate where I am from there, decide if I'm going to do another round of sprints or not. But I do have like, um, I have some other things that I need to get into and I don't know. So I'm going to do the sprints and then we'll see from there. First, um, first sprint down 25 minutes. 369 words, which is not like anything to write home about. But in my defense, I was interrupted several times and I had to stop to look a few things up and stop to stare into space a bit. So all things considered, not that bad. All right. So second sprint, 338 words. So I went down. <laughs> Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not really like rushing through this, especially now that I'm like, I didn't meet whatever the initial finish date was supposed to be. So now it's just going like it's going and it'll be done when it's done. So I'm not tripping on it. Um, I do like, I do f just feel like I'm being very slow though. So I am about to take a break and then come back to this and maybe once I've kind of taken that break cleared my head I'll be able to really you know really dive in maybe all right so I am done writing for the day um I'm ending at like 1900 words for the day um I'm not where I thought I was gonna be but I'm as far as I'm gonna get uh I don't feel great. Uh, I still feel stuffy. Um, and I know there's pollen. I have not been taking my, um, I'm really supposed to be on an antihistamine regimen and I have not. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be correcting that starting today. I didn't want to take it because I know it's going to make me sleepy. It always makes me sleepy the first few days. Um, so I'll probably eat, I'll probably go ahead and start dinner and then I'll be able to take it. So, you know, have a good night's sleep and all of that. Um, I am going to go ahead and send what I have so far to my betas. I'm going to go ahead and engage my betas on what I have so far. Um, I'm excited, though. I'm excited. So, okay, 
spoiler alert area here. So I'm going to title this book. Um, it's going to be either Casual Acquaintances or Casual Encounters or Prior Acquaintances or Prior Encounters. I'm not completely sold on any of them yet, um, and it could change. But the reason that the title of the book is that is because I'm doing a reincarnation kind of thing. <laughs> I'm doing like a reincarnation kind of thing. And so we're at this point where they've met um, and they just feel like this vague familiarity um, and they are going to end up having what they are going to believe is a one night stand. But of course, it's not. Um, and as Haley is digging like into the history of this house, um, she's going to be finding out more and more things about her great grandmother and discovering that um just discovering this connection um I don't feel well I don't feel like I don't feel like getting into it I don't feel like telling all the details right now but um I'm excited I'm excited to you know I'm excited to come back to my computer tomorrow because hopefully that's going to be the first uh intimate scene um which is always you know I don't know why I'm excited I'm actually terrified <laughs> <laughs> for it but we'll see how it goes um I think that's it I think that's all um I need to go start dinner and I need to go um decongest myself so I'll holler <laughs>